The staff at Sydenham High School would like to extend a big welcome to the class of 2024. Welcome to Sydenham High School. The Sydenham High School Golden Eagle would like to show you around. There are three main doors you will probably use when you enter the building. There's a side door close to the bus parking lot, the back doors that go down to the gymnasium or up to the library, or our front door. Hey Eagle, show us around. Eagle is standing in our front hallway just outside the main office. Let's go inside to see who you'll see when you enter. First desk you'll see will be Sandra's. Sandra is our office manager. She'll answer lots of questions for you. The next desk you'll see beside her is Casey and Casey is our budget clerk. Beside Casey is Bev and Bev is our attendance secretary. If you need to sign in late or leave early, you'll do so through this window from the main hallway. Any tour of the first floor should include a stop at the map. Many events are promoted from this spot as it is a main junction on the first floor. The map looks down the math hallway. Your math class will probably be in one of the rooms along this hallway. You'll also notice the half lockers. Many of the grade nine students will use these lockers next year. The Library Commons is on the first floor. It is home to computers, books, games like chess, puzzles, or a meditation room in the famous mobile classroom. Namaste. If you choose to, you'll have the opportunity to be as fit as our eagle in using our weight room. The weight room is used for power fit classes during the day, but is also available for personal training at lunch and after school. The next stop on our tour is the basement. The cafeteria is located right underneath the library commons and right beside our main gymnasium, where you may choose to play a little basketball if you have some free time. As well in the basement, you'll find many great technology areas, including our transportation shop, our manufacturing shop, and our construction woodworking shop. The cooking or hospitality room, along with communication technology, are also both found in the basement. Well, in the basement, you'll find the drama room, which is also our mini theater, and a cardio spin room. The second floor is home to many different classrooms. If you're coming down this hallway, you've just left the front hallway of the school where the English classrooms are. And as you walk down this hallway and take a turn down the main hallway of the second floor, you're going by many different classrooms. Take a peek in this window and you can see a science lab. But if you're not looking for a science room, then across the hallway and down just a touch further, you might stumble across your geography classroom because that will be on this floor as well. And if you're not looking for geography for your upcoming class and you wander down the hallway a little bit further and head in, you'll see where the French classrooms are traditionally held. But if you're not looking for French or science or some of those social science classes, then come on back, watch out for the chairs because we are already cleaning out classrooms. So the hallway might have some clutter in it. Head back past the science classroom to the main T in this floor and then take a left. And as you take a left, you'll see the, the, lot, or the elevator in the, down the hallway and you're on your way to the art and music room. So at the next corner, take a right and we'll meet you there. The music program offers instrumental, guitar and voice. The art room is a big bright room with lots of windows facing out over the village. Student services is on the first floor, not too far from the main office. Let's go inside. One of the first people you'll meet when you come into student services is our guidance clerk, and her name is Amy Myers. 
she can probably answer most of your questions for you or at least direct you in the right direction. Another person you might want to meet in student services is our adolescent care worker and her name is Ricky and her office is in this corner. But follow the eagle around the corner a little bit because there's one other person you need to know how to find and her name is Shannon Myers. Shannon is our grade nine point person and will be a big help for you next year. If you'd like to learn how to open up a lock, just follow these instructions. Let's assume your locker combination is 28 to 16. You're gonna start by turning the dial at least two turns to the right. You can go more than two, but it has to be at least two until you get to your first number, which is 28. And then you're gonna turn once to the left, going past the number that you just stopped at, the 28, all the way to your second number, which is two. And then you're gonna to go to the right, straight to your third number, which in this case was 16 and bam, hopefully everything works for you and you're into your locker.